back in 1861, the landscape would have looked vastly different than it does today. Uh, the main um, difference is that there'd be no houses and there'd be no trees. Most of this area would have been open farmland. There were three uh, men living here during the time of the Civil War. They were Pringles, made up of Andrew Sr., who was in his late 80s, uh, and then you have his two adult sons, Thomas and Andrew Jr. They're in their 40s and 30s, respectively. Uh, we're a half mile, a mile away from the Battle of First Manassas. So we're close enough uh, that you can get soldiers here, um, they're going to recuperate, and then once they're well enough to travel, you can transport them to the railroad junction on a rail car and uh, send them to Richmond or Gordonsville. Uh, you have Confederates in here for an entire month. This is the first battle of the war. Most soldiers, most surgeons uh, weren't expecting the casualties that were being produced by this first battle. Uh, and the civilian population around Prince William County, around Manassas, aren't prepared. This is a, um, an example of how the Civil War is going to be directly impacting um, a lot of people that weren't expecting it to directly impact them. Uh, we have an account of one of the uh, medical aides that was here uh, at Ben Lomond Hospital. And he writes that this uh, house is so packed with soldiers that he can't find an empty space to actually lie down and go to bed. The dining room is set up as a surgery room. Uh, historically, most of the surgeries here at the Pringle House Hospital would have been performed outside under tents. Though it rains on the evening of the 21st of July, 1861, so uh, some surgeries probably would have been uh, performed inside. Uh, most people view the Civil War as a time of medical barbarism, uh, not that far removed from medieval uh, practices. However, that's a myth. These surgeons are professional men, and that they're using the uh, state-of-the-art technology available in 1861, and they're, they're actually saving soldiers' lives that would have succumbed to the wounds if they had not been uh, taken care of. In August 1862, uh, the Federals really take over Ben Lomond Plantation. And during that month, the Pringles will see a vast change in the war for them. It's the Federal occupation of Ben Lomond that really devastates the Pringles. Uh, they'll stay here for the rest of the war, but 1865, they are forced to leave Ben Lomond because uh, they are so devastated economically that they cannot afford to live here anymore. We really made an effort to make this house appear as closely as possible uh, to its 1861 appearance. So the largest room, the parlor, we have uh, as the recovery room. So you'll see blankets on straw on one side of the room. You'll have a cot and some stretchers. And in the master bedroom, there's a lot of furniture. There's a bed stand that uh, has been very quickly moved in. Um, there's an expensive mirror uh, and the uh, marble top furniture. And so those would be the pieces that would have been moved uh, with priority up towards the master bedroom. Ben Lohman is only being used as a field hospital for a little over a month. It's not going to be a daily occurrence for the, for the Pringles throughout the Civil War, but for that month and a couple of days, this is uh, very traumatic for all the people that are uh, here at the site. Today about the Civil War, we, we think about the national significance about this event in history. Um, we seem to have a tendency to forget um, the war afflicting individual uh, towns and counties and individual people. And for Ben Lohman, uh, it's fantastic that we were able to save this uh, site because uh, people will go to the battlefields where, where individuals died, but people that visit battlefields sometimes forget that there are hospitals that these soldiers that are wounded at the battlefields are brought to. And so they're not getting that full story of what happens after um, a Civil War battle. We are actively encouraging uh, all types of people, uh, from children all the way up to the elderly, to actively touch and taste and actually try and live history for the time that they're here at Ben Lomond.